वेलकम टू द बायोविस्पर चैनल आर टॉपिक टुडे इज ऑन अ पर्सपेक्टिव ओवरव्यू ऑफ डार्क बायोटेक्नोलॉजी सो लेट्स डिस्कस इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो द कंसर्न्स विद द डार्क साइड ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजिकल एप्लीकेशंस इंक्लूडिंग बायोवेफेयर बायोवीपन्स एंड बायोटेररिज्म डार्क बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज रिलेटेड टू द डार्क साइड्स ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एवरी साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांस has the dark aspects that are not beneficial for humans living organisms and the environment biotechnology is no different dark biotechnology is a subfield that investigates the involvement of pathogenic organisms that are virulent and resistant type against the human welfare and living organism that including the production of bioweapons biowarfare and bioterrorism This sadly includes the application of biotechnological techniques converting them into biological weapons for targeted organisms. It is also extended towards the studies of toxins that can cause disease, harmful effects and death. Generally, it's the negative impacts and applications of biotechnology which is supposedly for the betterment of the welfare of humans or mankind. Dark biotechnology is generally categorized into three areas namely bioweapon research biowarfare applications and bioterrorism concerns In the 6th century BC the Assyrians poisoned the well water with a toxin producing fungus ergotism That is one of the earliest reported cases of bioweapon in history amongst many similar examples During the World War II atrociously There were reports of bioweapon events which highlighted the importance of understand the impacts of bioweapon. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. Myself and my team of fellow retired educators, Dr. Biotech Whisperers team of four curators including Dr. Raul, will love to hear your comments and suggestions for future topics. With that out of the way let's continue the discussion we should pause to ask ourselves should we be worried the answer is a resounding yes dark biotechnology defines the use of biological weapons involving toxins or infectious agents that are biological in origin as germ warfare the most dangerous bioweapons are mainly contagious microorganisms such as pathogenic viruses and bacteria some of the examples include the odorless and tasteless anthrax spores that makes a deadly bioweapon clostridium botulinum produces the botulinum toxin which is highly potent as a muscle paralyzing tool though adaptations of low doses of this toxin is used in cosmetic applications aerial botulism dispersion can be deadly in populated cities Diseases such as Ebola, smallpox and plague are equally concerning. One key takeaway is bioweapon is man-made, it is not natural. The intent of dark biotechnology is about using non-human life as a means to disrupt or to end human life. There is a global surveillance effort to enforce compliance with United Nations led multilateral disarmament treaties. Diseases caused by biological weapons would not confine themselves to national borders and could spread rapidly around the world. The consequences of the deliberate release of biological agents or toxins by state or non-state actors could be dramatic. The Biological Weapons Convention is an example of many multilateral disarmament treaties banning an entire category of weapons of mass destruction. Whilst agreements and treaties can be put in place it does not stop humanity's ability to continue finding innovative ways of killing each other Will the future be worrying Classical bioweapons like plague toxins anthrax bacteria attacks have the historical basis for us to reflect and to prevent their occurrence Terrorists and criminals can use bioweapons to harm the targeted persons society or by the extension humanity as a whole 
Biowarfare causes results similar to natural pandemic situations such as the Great Plague centuries ago. The intentional release of smallpox or Ebola virus may trigger concerns similar to plague. One of the interesting reports includes consideration of using insect vectors to spread diseases. The road ahead is unclear. In the modern times, we have seen technological advances at the molecular level. Genetic engineering using CRISPR has the potential to correct genetic defects and treat disease. Some experts are in fact concerned about recent advances in gene editing technology. In the wrong hands, however, it has the potential for evil or malicious attempts. A Financial Times article reported that there is always the danger of root scientists manipulating unchecked DNA editing. Synthetic biology is another subfield of biotechnology. Synthetic biology is a field of science that involves redesigning organisms for useful purposes by engineering them to have new abilities. The concept is about making a bacteria from scratch as a proof of concept that it is possible for things might go the wrong way as well. In the wrong hands, synthetic biology provides the toolkit for making biology easier to engineer. This de-skilling of biology, as per the article makes it possible for root scientists to challenge biosecurity restraints. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates.